friends, how you doing? I have officially warmed through all of the Crystal Collection from Scentsy that was released about a week and a half ago. I received it on Wednesday, today's Saturday, four days later, and I have experimented and warmed with f all five of them. I'm gonna go through these very quickly from least favorite to most favorite. I don't hate any of them. The one I'm gonna start with, ironically enough, I thought I was gonna like the most and I like it the least again. I don't hate any of them. I just like it the least. I warmed this one in my room last night. Coconut cream, Moroccan rose, and sandalwood are the notes in rose quartz. Now, it's a beautiful wax. It's a baby pink. And the notes would have made me think that I would have loved this. This gave off so little scent. The performance was not up to scentsy standards, in my opinion. They can't all be cashmere pear, <laughs> okay? Uh, that's my favorite um, of all time. I like the way this smells. I don't smell enough rose and I don't smell enough sandalwood, I don't think. I smell a lot of the coconut cream and I'm not a coconut fan. In fact, I just made a post on Instagram about the fact that I finally finished my pina colada cha-cha brick. And ironically enough, that was the first one to get sold out. So I know that my taste is not everybody's taste. I understand that. Some people might love this. I found this to be a little bit of a waste of time. It smelled very nice, but it just wasn't strong enough. I had three warmers going in my bedroom in one little room. I did not have the ceiling fan on. I closed all the windows. I still couldn't really smell anything. Maybe it was my nose. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go next is, mm, we're gonna go here. Okay, green calcite. I have that going right now. I put it into my warmers three hours ago. I have three warmers going in this room, in this kitchen, okay? Bergamot, jasmine, and white woods. The white woods is very strong. When I warmed it on cold, as you might have saw in my video, I didn't smell any of the jasmine and I still don't. It's a beautiful wax. It's a beautiful color. I don't think that this um, is a very good performer. And I also think that this is very masculine. A lot of these scents are masculine, just so you know. This has a very strong woody note to it. Again, I don't smell any jasmine. The bergamot is in the background, giving it just a slight citrus. I would not order this again. I'm glad that I warmed it. It's making my kitchen feel very clean. It's a very clean scent, but I don't think that it belongs in this collection because I love this collection. Even though I just gave you two poo, poo reviews, I do still love this collection. Okay, next is Lapis Lazuli. Okay, now I'm not gonna give you a bad review of this, but it still was not my favorite. Love the color of the wax. The color that the wax threw up onto my ceiling with the light was amazing. I did a post on how beautiful my warmers looked with this in the warmer, okay? I know that that's not what, you know, you think of when you think Scentsy, oh, it's just because it's beautiful. I also really consider how beautiful something is, okay? This is a beautiful wax, it's a beautiful scent, but it's very, very masculine. It's supposed to be sea salt air, California lemon, and beach lily. And I don't smell any floral note or, you know, the lily. I don't really smell the lemon too much. It is very sea salt air. It almost smells like there's a wood note in there, but for some reason they didn't put a wood note in the description. This is perfect for an office. This is perfect for a guy's den. This is perfect for a bathroom. Bedroom, I don't think so, personally. Kitchen, certainly not, in my opinion. Okay, lapis lazuli. I love it. I think that all the men in my life would love this. In fact, if my husband wants, he can bring this into his office and he can warm it in his office because he does have a warmer in there. Okay, two more. We're gonna go on to very, very good reviews. Okay, citrine. I thought that I was gonna like this the least and it's a fight between citrine and amethyst that I like it the most, okay? Sweet orange, pineapple, nectar, and vanilla. I absolutely loved this. This was not a gourmand scent. Even though it has pineapple and orange in it, it, I don't consider this to be a fruit scent. This is almost like a very nice, subtle cologne, okay? Um, the vanilla makes it a warm citrus scent, which is kind of weird because it's really not like a creamsicle, but it's a little bit citrus and it's very warm. This was absolutely perfect in my kitchen, but I think that you can warm this in any room in your house. It was not overly strong, but it lasted forever. So this was like the candle that you have lit and just sits in the corner all day long. 
that's what this is. But three days later, it was still going strong. In fact, I had to take it out of my warmers this morning to, you know, give you a review of the green calcite. And I was a little disappointed because as I was taking it out of the warmers, it was still smelling really good. But I bought another two bundles. They're on their way to my house. So <laughs> it's okay. I can warm through some wax. Um, if you'd like a sample of this, I would love to make anybody a sample of this. Just let me know. I think that this is going to go sold out. The next one that's going to go sold out is the amethyst because that's the next one in my... Um, in my review here. This is the last one. This one was absolutely beautiful. This is going to fight in my brain between my favorite, between cashmere pear and this. This knocked my socks off. It, it is literally one of the best waxes, fragranced waxes, that I've ever warmed for my taste, okay? Lavender petals, chamomile, and tonka bean. It was just floral enough so that it wasn't a flower scent. It was just herbal enough with the chamomile, but it wasn't green. This, is, this has no greenery notes in it, even though chamomile technically is an herb. And then the tonka bean just made it a very warm scent. And the I, I, it's just a beautiful grape colored wax. I can't tell you how much I love this. It almost, the tonka bean almost gave it a little bit of a, a musky cologne scent, but the lavender and the chamomile makes it so that it's not too deep. It is just absolutely fabulous. In fact, if I could have got, if I could go back in time, I would probably not order entire bundles. I would get a five pack of this because if you buy four, you get the fifth for free. Five bars of this for 24 bucks is a total, total deal. This is an amazing wax. I'm definitely getting my next purchase. If it's not sold out, I will be getting a five pack of these for $24. And I'm going to hoard them because this is an amazing wax, okay? So there is my review of all five of the Crystal Collection waxes from Scentsy. If you have any questions about anything, get in touch with me. If you feel differently, go ahead and comment down below and don't get snotty about it because everybody's sniffer differs and I'm allowed to like the ones that I like, right? <laughs> I hope everybody has a great Saturday. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.